what is up guys it's me sherrod andy and welcome back to my channel this was a tennis ball once anyway so what's up if you're new here i make videos all about my lifestyle and commentary so make sure you subscribe for more videos i post every monday and sometimes on thursdays and i will be posting this thursday so y'all know now <laughs> Anyway, for today's video, we will be talking about the movie Promising Young Woman, directed by Emerald Fennell, her debut film, and it stars Harry Mulligan, Bo Burnham, Laverne Cox, and Alison Brie. To synopsi, is that a word? To synopsis. To synopsi, I'm pretty sure that's not a word, but we're going with it. So, the synopsis for this movie, which I stole off of IMDb, like usual, a young woman traumatized by a tragic event in her past seeks out vengeance against those who crossed her path. I will start out this video, even though we've been talking for a minute, with a trigger warning in regards to SA. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on YouTube. Doesn't matter, no one watches my videos anyway. But either way, trigger warning to anyone that watches this video. I went into this movie not really knowing much about it. I watched like 30 seconds of the trailer because I never watched the whole trailer for any movie because trailers now Nowadays, like give away everything and so I'll watch like 30 seconds once I know what the movie's about and then I'll be like peace <laughs> anyway so I didn't really know I kind of had an idea what it was about but not like not really anyway <laughs> I was really underprepared that's all I gotta say <laughs> literally the first scene I was sitting there in the theater like I can't look I can't look it was like I was watching a horror movie. Like horror movies don't scare me, but this movie was terrifying. <laughs> With that being said, let's get into this review. First, Lily, you're breathing really heavily. First, we're gonna talk about the directing. As I mentioned earlier, this movie is directed by Emerald Fennell. It's her debut feature film, and she has a writing credit on Killing Eve. I haven't watched, but I've heard good things about it, so I don't know. Anyway, I liked her directing because there were like certain shots where I was like, ooh, I like that one. That's a cool shot. Sitting there like a nerd by myself in the theater, by the way. I was sitting there in the theater by myself like, wow, that's a really cool shot. And I also really enjoyed the costume design. It was a lot of bright colors, which was amazing. And also the color palette of the movie itself was really bright. I liked it. It was bright in some scenes and not in others for reasons, you know? Okay, let's get into the writing. I thought overall the writing was really good because it didn't make the audience seem like they're idiots where they just like lay everything out there for you like you don't have a brain and so it was like slowly you would see more of the story go along and understand things better so it wasn't like <laughs> giving you all the information immediately and then you're like well this isn't any fun but it was a smart movie i guess you could say like okay so with the writing after i watched it i was like oh my gosh i found a plot hole and then i thought about it some more and then i was like wait no they i didn't with that being said, let's move on to the acting performances. This movie mostly stars Carrie Mulligan and Bo Burnham, so I'm gonna focus on them too, because there's like tons of small roles with like super famous people, but they don't have a ton of screen time, so I didn't really think that they were like worth mentioning. Carrie Mulligan and Bo Burnham are the main actors. First, let's get into the Carrie Mulligan and Bo Burnham like chemistry, because they play romantic interest in this movie, and I thought their chemistry on screen was really good. I was convinced. <laughs> I like how they pointed out how Bo Burnham is a giant because like I forget because I'm a huge fan of his comedy and so I watch him on stage like at his comedy shows and I'm like this guy looks really tall and he is. I think he's like six five or something. Anyway doesn't matter. I'm, I'm a huge Bo Burnham fan which was like my main driving factor to go see this movie. I knew it was like huge Oscar bait so that was one of the reasons why I wanted to see it and then the other reason was I love Bo Burnham, okay? I'm really sad I haven't got to see him live because he's not touring anymore. Probably because of the Rona is one thing and then also I think he was like, I'm done. Either way, it's sad. Okay. Okay, so that was a tangent. Back to Carrie Mulligan and Bo Burnham's acting. So I liked their chemistry. It was hard for me to get past the like seeing Bo Burnham act because he's always, you know, he started out as a comedian. I loved his vines and stuff. Dear glove compartment, get a new name because no one wears gloves anymore. What? So it took me a minute to like get over the fact that like he's acting and he's not Bo Burnham, you know? But after I got past that, I thought he did really well. I would give his acting performance like a B plus, 
you know, pretty solid. Okay, so Carrie Mulligan, she's, you know, the main actress. I mean, Bo Burnham's in the movie a lot, but like, this movie is about Carrie Mulligan's character. And as far as her acting goes, I really enjoyed her acting in this movie. As far as me personally, I haven't really been a huge fan of Carrie Mulligan, but this was probably my favorite movie of hers because like, every other movie I've seen her in, her characters are always kind of annoying. And that's not really a dig at her personally. It's just every character I've seen her portray, I haven't really been a huge fan of. Like Daisy from Great Gatsby. Okay, so Carrie Mulligan, she's in Drive, right? Back to what I was saying. Carrie Mulligan as an actress, I usually don't like. Uh, I didn't really like her acting in that movie, and then her acting in Drive, I didn't really like either, but I mean, Ryan Gosling, everybody loves Ryan Gosling, who doesn't like that Canadian dude? Those are the two ones that stick out that I didn't really like her in, but this one I thought she did really well. I understand why this movie is like Oscar bait and stuff, but we're still waiting for the nominations. It should come any day now. Moving on. Okay, so there's this one scene where Carrie Mulligan's character is walking from this person's house and these construction workers are like cat calling her and she just turns and stares them down and it's such a mood. I love that scene so much. So yeah, that's what I liked about this movie. I don't really have any critiques. If I do, I would say there's a writing decision that I didn't agree with, but no spoilers, I'm not gonna tell you what it was, but I didn't like that writing decision near the end of the movie. With that being said, I would give this movie an A minus. A minus. <laughs> but in other news, this movie is severely triggering. I had a mental breakdown in my car on the way home. Um, so I thought I would just put that out there for people that like haven't seen it and wanna see it. And if you have like, that's a trigger for you, go see with a friend. And yeah, just letting you all know, whoever watches this video, that this movie is triggering, super triggering. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I will be back on Thursday for another video and then also the following Monday. So make sure you subscribe so you know when I post and like the video if you liked it, comment, share all the things, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.